Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're starting off by prepping my natural nail. We're gonna be doing some press on nails. I feel like I am very lazy right now, so I wanted to go ahead and pop some press on nails on and just make my life a little bit easier. So I'm gonna be prepping my nail with this diamond bit from Profiles Backstage. It is one of their prep bits and I've been wanting to try it. So I'm actually doing my nails at home and I figured that I would go ahead and use it because I had no other option, quite frankly. I thought I had a mandrel bit and a sanding band. I have sanding bands, but I do not have a mandrel bit. So here we are. I have my e-file speed at 4,000 RPMs and I'm just very quickly using that around the cuticle area and the entire surface of my natural nail to try to roughen it up a little bit When you are prepping your nail You basically want to buff the shine off of your natural nail so that all of the products adhere very well And that's basically what I'm doing I'm also grabbing the tip of it and just filing down my natural nail just a little bit I like to have my nails as short as possible whenever I'm doing them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take advantage of that bit and do it very quickly. Now, I also didn't have any prep bits here at home other than these two, so I switched it out to this diamond cone bit, and I'm going to be filing around the cuticle area to try to remove a little bit more. I'm just gonna go ahead and size the tips to my nail and it is important that you make sure that these tips fit very, very well to your nail. So what I'm doing is taking my hand file and just filing it until I feel like it fits nice and flush. Sometimes you'll have your cuticle area be a little bit straight on one side or a little bit more curved on one side. So you wanna make sure that the tip matches exactly that. And that's basically what I'm doing. My ring finger curves in. So I'm gonna file the right side of my cuticle area to try to be able to place that on there nice and slanted so that it looks a little bit more straight than my natural nail actually is. I'm putting them to the side. Now we're gonna connect my little light from Beatles. Now the tips are not from Beatles, they are from Amazon, so I'll leave those linked for you guys. It's from a different brand, but I chose to use these because they're extra long, and you guys know I love my long nails. So now that I'm nice and prepped, I'm gonna make sure that it fits properly. Apply some of the gel glue to the back of the tip. These are from Beatles as well. So now I'm just gonna press it in, hold it in place, and slide my fingers under the light. Super, super simple process. Once you guys get the hang of it, it's very, very quick. You will struggle probably a little bit at the beginning. I did as well. So you kind of have to like mess around with it and figure out what the best method of doing it is. And then it'll be super, super quick. You can do your entire set in like five minutes. So we're just gonna go with it. I'm applying a little bit, applying it on the nail, squeeze all the way towards the tip, and then you're curing it very quickly. And basically you start at the cuticle area, push the pressure down towards the tip of your natural nail, and then cure very quickly. And you wanna make sure you hold it nice and still under the light because it cures it at a slow rate and there's a lot of product under there. So if you don't cure it all the way, you can get some bubbles if you let it go too early. Now, funny story, I actually put the wrong size tip on my index finger. I could have easily filed it down, but because I wanted to keep the exact shape that the tips came with, I figured I would go ahead and show you guys how I would fix the issue. So I'm clipping down the size of the nail, and then quickly I'm taking my five in one bit from Not Polish, at a speed of about 10,000 RPMs, I'm just going in and filing, filing, filing until the majority of that product is gone. I'm basically leaving like the smallest amount of product on my nail because that's not gonna affect the adhesion at all. Um, I just wanna make sure that it isn't tight on there whenever I place the correct size tip. So I'm basically pretty much just leaving the base coat portion uh, what you would consider the base coat just very very thin amount of product now I'm taking the correct size tip placing more glue on there and then pressing it in and curing 
I took it off camera just to make sure that I didn't have any bubbles. So once everything is cured under the, your little flash cure light, you wanna make sure you put it in the big light for a full 60 seconds because I feel like those little lamps are not strong enough to fully cure it. So I did go ahead and do that uh, previously to doing the index finger. And then I'm gonna go in and file the nails. The reason that I'm doing this is because they come shaped perfectly on the sides, but the tip of it I feel like is a little wonky. They come a little bit on the round side. So I'm just making sure that I'm going in on the sides and very quickly on the tip to make sure everything is nice and squared. Once I'm done filing them to the shape that I want, I'm actually taking this bit from Not Polish and I'm quickly going around that cuticle area. So you will get a little bit of spillage sometimes. Now if you're a complete professional, of course you probably won't, but I'm still not used to the process. So I do get a little bit of spillage up near the cuticle area. So to remove that, I'm taking this super skinny coarse bit and I'm just going in, filing that area. It's nice and a safety bit, so you won't have to be scared to cut yourself or anything like that. I'm going in with my sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage. We're gonna be buffing away the shine of the tips. I don't think necessarily you have to do this. I feel like I've skipped this step before, but I had a buffer and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use it because it's here. So we're buffing off the shine. And then we're gonna be going in with this really pretty color from McCart. I have a bunch of their gel polishes and I wanna get more into using gel polish, not only so I can swatch colors for you guys, but because I know that a lot of you guys only use gel polish. So here we are. This is an absolutely beautiful white. It's a little bit see-through, so I did go in after I did one coat, I did a second coat, so it's a little bit more opaque, but you can absolutely leave it with one coat if you want the milky look of the color so take in mind that white gel polishes are a little bit hard to work with so you will have to swipe over it quite a few times to prevent any little brush strokes from showing <laughs> We're curing it in the light for a full minute. And then once we're out of the light, we're gonna go in with our nail art of our choice. I actually found this photo from an artist and I figured I would try to recreate it on the nails to kind of see if I liked it or not. So we're gonna be using the frosting gel paint from Profiles Backstage. I absolutely love their gel paints. I talk about them all the time. That's the only color we're gonna be using today. And then I'm gonna be using my favorite nail art brush from McCart which are on Amazon, and I'll leave that link down below as well. They're my favorite. I have my white one that I'm using, but it comes in a pack of three. So I came across this photo on Instagram. I've been really attracted to like art and actually trying to recreate it for you guys. So you guys can kind of get a glimpse of how to do that to create your own nail designs, possible nail trends. So this one is extremely just like sketch vibes. So like if you're doodling, if you're just drawing simply with a pencil, I feel like that kind of gave me the same vibe. And I really, really liked it. I figured it would be one of those simple designs that anyone can really recreate with ease. So here we are. The artist's name is Callan Michael or Callan Mickle. I'm not quite sure which one it is, but I'm gonna leave the picture inserted on the screen so you guys can see the inspo photo. 
but it's basically like floral design. You've got tiny little dots everywhere randomly, little stars, something very, very simple to create. So we're going with it. I'm starting off with the pinky, working my way towards my thumb. And we're kind of just using portions of the entire design like I did previously in my video. Um, and just kind of scattering it across my five nails. And we're hoping for the best, okay? Sometimes it's a little scary to try something new, but here we are. I also don't ever really do white on my nails. So this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but for the purpose of doing the nail art, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. It's fine, it'll be fine. <laughs> So I've said this before in lots of my videos, when you're doing nail art, I feel like your biggest enemy is going to be overthinking it. I feel like if you just go for it and you just do it, it's gonna turn out a lot better than if you're freaking out thinking that it's gonna turn out terrible and you're trying to do it extra careful, then your hand is gonna start getting shaky. So just go in it with like a blank mindset you got this it'll be fine and i noticed it with myself that i hold my breath and when i do that i almost put myself in like this panic mode <laughs> so breathe in breathe out uh, rest your pinky anywhere you feel like you need to stabilize it i basically have it laying right here on three of my fingers because in that position it helped me do those tiny little details so I'm basically kind of moving it around to make sure that my hand is nice and stable. Sometimes I'll lay it on one of the nails. It kind of just depends on exactly what I'm doing. So make sure you guys are always aware of that as well. Another thing that I feel like has helped me a lot is having very minimal gel paint on my bristles of my brush. So the more gel paint you have, obviously the thicker the lines are gonna be, the harder it's gonna be to control the exact same pressure throughout whenever you're dragging that amount of gel paint. So if you have a small amount of gel paint and you use very light pressure when you're actually drawing the line, the more smooth it's gonna come out, the more even it's gonna come out. So you wanna try to make sure that not only do you have a little bit of product on your brush, but you also try to have the exact same pressure throughout and you try to keep it as steady as possible. So the least amount of product you have on there, the better you're gonna be able to control it. If you're stabilizing your finger on your hand or whatever the case is, it's gonna be a lot easier as well. The gel paint or product you're using to paint on the design is gonna be a huge factor on how well you execute the design as well. So if I have a product that's very, very runny, that's not gonna help me at all because I'm gonna struggle to try to keep it in the exact same spot that I placed it. So you want something a little bit thicker. Of course, if that's what you like as well, if you like it a little runny and you're able to work with it, by all means, go for it. Uh, your brush is also gonna be a huge help when it comes to it. You want it to be nice and skinny. Uh, these are really, really good quality and they're very inexpensive. So definitely recommend these. There's a lot more on the market as well if you guys are interested in like doing a little bit more research but for me i feel like it's very inexpensive they're very good quality they get here in like two days because it's from amazon if you have prime so boom you got both amazing worlds so we're gonna go ahead and finish off the design for this one i actually added a little butterfly up top as well because that was in the original artist's work um, I'm not going to lie, that was a huge struggle for me. I feel like it was just so tiny, so I was trying to make it all perfect, and I, in fact, did not. So we're working with it. I'm going to be adding a lot more flowers on my index finger, one on my thumb, and kind of just finishing off the design, making it super, super simple, and just bringing it all together with the same type of design.
So I did accidentally top coat the nails off camera. I stopped recording before I should have. Uh, so I apologize for that, but I just used Gloss It from Not Polish. It's one of my favorite top coats to use. And this is the final result. Let me know what you guys think. It's something different than you guys see on my channel, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton, and I'll see you guys next time. Day one.